Hi everybody, today Rotto runs through Augustus, a brand new game from uh, Paolo Mori, who is a designer who's really on a tear these days. Uh, you know, he did Vasco da Gama and Libertalia and uh, the brand new Batman strategy game that just came out, and this one. And what is this game all about? Well, it's set in ancient Rome as the kingdom is being split apart into a lot of different provinces and players are taking advantage of that to try to gain control and influence the Senate and all of those kinds of things you would expect to do in ancient Rome. Now, the core of this game is actually bingo. Um, yes, that's, you know, B12 bingo type bingo. And it's really, really interesting what Paolo has been able to do with the basic bingo structures, putting them into a fairly solid Euro game, which we are now going to play. Now, at the beginning of the game, every player gets six, well, you could call these bingo cards, basically, although the game calls them objectives. And I see, and I ended up with um, three senators who I could try to influence, and then I also got three provinces that I could uh, influence also, using my seven starting legions. And Jen, her six, see, she also looks like she got the same, you know, three, three regions and three senators. Now, at the beginning of the game, we're only going to have three. So of these six, we're going to pick three bingo cards that we want to keep and start playing with. And I'll look at mine first. And what am I going to do? Let's see. i got to look at what these cards actually have um, in terms of abilities. Now, in the bottom right, there's the victory point. So five, three, five. Uh, this senator gets random. You know, Basically, I get victory points on him based on the number of senators I have at the end of the game. Six for this guy. And But more importantly than the victory points is the special abilities they have when I score these bingo cards. Like this guy, when I complete him, I immediately get to place two legionnaires on a dagger spot on another objective, which you know could actually let me complete two bingo cards at the same time. And also the things that I have to hit the, to actually get this center on my side, I need two cross swords, a shield, those are all very common, and a dagger, which is very uncommon. So he's kind of a midly, middling type guy in terms of being able to get him. Whereas this guy, well, yeah, this guy's kind of, you know, he's got four completely different symbols I have to grab. Now I gotta choose three of these. And I think what I'm gonna do is, since I've got this guy, this senator, who actually gives me bonus points for having more senators in the game, I think I'm gonna try and get a lot of senators. So I'm gonna keep him. Which means I'll definitely keep him, because he's awesome, because he lets me place a legionnaire anywhere I want for free. And this guy lets me place legionnaires on other assassin dagger spots. But if you look, I don't think any of these cards have any dagger spots. Well, okay, no, this one does have one. So I don't think I'll keep him. This guy I'm going to discard. And so I'm going to keep two senators and one region. Which region do I want to keep? Let's see. This one, when I complete it, lets me do two chariots immediately. And, I mean, I've got one chariot on this. That's not really that exciting. This one, two cross swords, which can be nice. And this one, actually, I'm going to go with this one. Even though it's the hardest, because I need five legionnaires on it, including the two most rare symbols, this one's really, really cool because it lets me put two legionnaires anywhere I want. That's very powerful. So this is my starting set. Oops, knocked over my legionnaires, oh no, of bingo cards. And now Jen's going to do the same thing. Let's see. And I think, well, I know she's going to... She's definitely going to take this center because if you complete this center, you get an additional legion, which is very, very powerful to have more. And I guess um, if she gets an additional legion, she'd like to have additional objectives she could pursue as well. So she'll take both of those. And then of the remaining, let's see, this is just a straightforward guy. He's pretty simple to do, all common symbols, and he's worth eight points. Um, oh, and this is a very, let's see, is Jen going to be mean? Is she going to take this nasty, evil attack one? I think she will. What the heck? Although, oh, but she could take this one, which um, generates wheat, has a wheat harvest, which is very powerful too. I think she, Jen could go mean, and because if she completes this objective, she completely obliterates one of the objectives I have in progress. That's what this symbol means. But she's not going to be mean. She's going to go for this one, which generates, uh, has a wheat harvest, which could potentially net her five bonus points for harvesting wheat. Okay, and so these are her cards. And now that was the startup happens every time you get six, you pick three, and now the game will begin. Let's play some bingo, everybody. So reaching over into the chicken cup is the equivalent of, you know, pulling the balls out of the big spinny thing. And so I'll be the town crier. I'll reach in. I will literally get something random. I have no idea what it's going to be. And it is, oh, uh, the dagger. And so I declared everyone dagger. 
And that means now everybody, if you, if you imagine bingo having all your cards in front of you and you look around where all, you, where all the daggers are, you get to put, unlike bingo, you get to put one dagger out. Now, me, this guy needs two shields, two catapults. This guy needs a cross sword, shield, uh, chariot, and a standard. And this is the important one because you'll notice it has a, a dagger. So I get to take now, because the dagger card came up, one of my legions and put it there, indicating I am starting to work on conquering Thracia. Okay, where they have lots of horsemen. Okay, now meanwhile, Jen, let's look at her. She, unfortunately, none of her cards have daggers. So, the, basically, the turn passes her. And now we just draw another one. And we just keep doing this. Uh, draw another one, see what we get. Crossed swords, okay. Let's see, and so Jen, she's got several choices. This guy needs two cross swords, this guy cross sword, and this guy two cross Now she only gets to place one. This is not like bingo where she could do every single cross sword she sees. She has to choose tactically or strategically. Does she want to start working on Marcus Calpurnius Maximus, Cerulius Sandrus Asamio, or conquering Gallia Bellica? All right, because she can only put one of these down. I think she's gonna go for this senator right up front because he's really quick to get, and she will get him, you know, get him an, another legion. It, or he will get her another legion. Meanwhile, me, I have only two cross swords. I could put it, I could put my um, one worker here on Pius, who lets me play something anywhere I want. But instead, since I've already started working on Thracia, and plus it's a big hard one, I'm gonna put my one cross sword over there. And so I've gotten two of the five legionnaires I need to conquer Thrace. Okay, then we come back. And we just once again draw, and it's a catapult. Let's see, and we, you know, everybody does this at the same time, proper bingo style. So Jen's got two catapults on this center and this region. Unfortunately, she'd really like it to be over here, but no such luck. I think she's gonna go for this one because she'll try and go for these two easier ones first off and work on this later. And me, I will, I can put, I've got catapults. This guy needs two catapults, but again, my Thracian needs a catapult. So I'm just gonna be trying to go for this as fast as I can. And then we reach into the cup again, and what do we get? Oh, the jack. Okay, now this means everybody gets to choose a, uh, a, a you know, it's any symbol everybody wants it to be. So let's look and see what everybody does. Me, I'm trying to finish Thrace. Now, which means I could choose it to be a shield or a standard. And standards are more rare than shields. If you look at this little handy dandy reminder, in the cup there are six cross swords and only or, and only one dagger, two jacks, two standards. So standards are pretty rare. So I'm gonna use the jack and fill in this standard spot. Quite nice. And Jen, she, well now she's gonna choose. She can be anything. So she could work on this guy a little bit more or she could work on this guy and um, I think she's gonna try and finish this guy as quick as we can. Okay, and now, whenever a jack comes out, the cup resets, or you know, the cloth bag that comes to the game. So all these things go back in, and we start drawing again. And let's see what we get. Okay, cross swords. And Jen says, boom, she has completed this senator, and so she cries out, Ave Caesar, or Bingo Caesar, as the case may be. So she's just gotten a bingo on this guy. And let's see if, it, if that cross swords helped me. Unfortunately, I wanted a shield, but I got cross swords, so I can't finish my Thracia thing, but I've still got three more guys. I guess I will start working on my only other cross sword right here, Pius. And right, so because a player got an Ave Caesar, it was Jen, she now gets to score this card. What that means is she takes her Legionnaires back because they'll be ready to deploy elsewhere. This moves up here to say she has conquered or she has influence or she controls this Senator. And that means at the end of the game, she's gonna score three points. And right now, she permanently adds one more Legion to her reserve. So she can actually put more guys out and work on more uh, objectives at the same time. And then the last thing she's gonna do is she gets to take a new objective from any five that are up here. And so if we look at these, this is 13 points. This is huge. And um, you know, because he's a moderately tough center to get. This one is five points, but if she get if Jen gets this for the rest of the game, anytime you pull a chariot, you can upgrade it if you want to, optionally, to a catapult, and catapults are more rare than chariots. 
So it's harder to get catapults and chariots. It basically doubles your chance. If you have a lot of catapult things, this might be a good one for her to get. This guy, this senator is very, very cool because when you score him, you can move all your legionnaires around um, you know, and then try to you know, make up for mistakes you previously made. This is another one of these upgrade ones where you can upgrade a catapult into a standard and standards are getting very rare, so that's very nice. And then finally, this standard is like the one I have where when you complete it, you get to place two legionnaires on standards, which again, are very rare. I think Jen's gonna choose this one. That's the one, she, and now a new one comes out. And then we continue with a new cup draw. It's more cross swords, all right. What's Jen gonna do? She's gonna obviously continue working on this guy. She could start on this, but it'd be good to get this finished. And me, I have no more cross swords. I it basically has a lost turn for me. So what do we get next? Uh, we pull a shield. At long last, I can cry out to the heavens, Ave Caesar. Let's see, and what's Jen gonna do? She's gonna continue working on this senator. And so now I have completed Thrace. So I will pull all these guys off and move this up here to indicate I've finished it. And its special ability, in addition to the three points I just got, are I get to now place two of my guys anywhere I want, because that's a jack symbol. Oh, and if I, oh, I'm just, it's a little shy. I'm gonna place one of them here on this standard, because it's very tough. And now I can place another one here on the catapult to get very, very close to finishing this guy. Or I could start working on this guy, and I could be working on two guys at the same time. Uh, let's see. But I think I am just gonna go on ahead and just focus on trying to get one. And, right, so that was that. And now I get to choose a new objective. Let's see. And remember, I'm going for that senator who if I score him, scores me additional senators. So I probably wanna get another senator if I can. And there's, there are almost everybody is senators out right now. So I think I will go on ahead and snag this senator here. The one where if I finish him, I get to place Oh, actually, that's the thing. If I finish him, I get to place two standards down. But neither of my other cards need standards, so if I finish him, it won't really benefit me on those. So maybe I don't want him. I think actually I want this guy instead, the guy who can upgrade a standard into a dagger, which is the rarest of all symbols. So this is very, very powerful. Uh, all right, so that's my new objective. And then we continue. Draw on from the cup, what do we get? A shield, okay, and Jen's gonna start working on uh, her Gallia wherever, and I've got a shield, and what do you know? I just completed Ave Caesar, my other guy. And so this side's up, I've completed it, and my benefit for him is getting to place one anywhere I want, and I think I'll go on ahead and place one on the super rare, tough to hit daggers. I just got a dagger for free, which is awesome. So I just got that, I got six points, and now I get to choose another objective. Oh, whoops, I forgot to put out a new objective at the end of last turn. Let's go ahead and put that down. More senators. It is senator town here. Let's see. Now, I think I'll go ahead and grab this guy. 13 points. I think this might be the biggest scoring senator in the game. So this is actually working out pretty well for me that I'm just hoovering up all these senators. Okay, and let's go on ahead and just draw a couple more. Let's see. And I got cross swords. I'm getting all the super common ones which is kind of painful, especially for Jen. I guess you'll go on ahead and, put, and start working on that. And me, I've only got one sander who needs a cross sword, Claudius, so we'll go ahead and put that there. And what do we get next? The Jack, okay. So, Jen is obviously going to cry, Ave Caesar, and finish this guy. And me, unfortunately, I'm nowhere near close, but I'll still, I will use that Jack to get the other super tough to get dagger, because they're so rare. And so this guy, oh, this guy's still gonna be tough. I need to get two standards. But anyway, so Jen gets to cry Ave Caesar. She completes this objective. And this objective allows her to pull, instead of pulling one objective, she'll have two. Which means for the rest of the game now, she will have two objectives. That she, which gives her more power and gives her more flexibility over what she's trying to pursue. So she's gotta pick up two objectives now. Let's see, now. This would be a good time as any to talk about the other choices you make when you're picking up objectives. You will notice these regions. This is a purple region, this is a green region, and Jen is already starting to work on a green region. And she's got a purple region she hasn't started working on yet. There are bonus tiles that can be picked up over the course of the game for being the first player to get three senators, 
To get three green, three purple, three orange, 10 if you get three orange, or six points if you get the first player to get one of each, an orange, a senator, a purple, and a green. Now, currently, I've already got a senator and a green, so I'm kind of you know, in the lead for trying to get this six pointer. Whereas Jen has already gotten two Sanders, so she's actually doing pretty good. She has one more Sanders, she can score this two-pointer. Sanders are very easy to get on your side, so that's why you only get two points for that. Alternatively, if you look over here, eight points for getting three purples. And since she, although, or versus only four points for three greens. Now, Jen's a halfway of finishing this green. And you notice there's a green up here she grabs. So she could grab this, she could start working on a second green. And don't forget, she gets to grab two. See, so I think actually, so she will go on ahead and grab this guy. So she's got two greens that she's working on. This is a, this will take a long time to get this one done. This is worth 12 points. And now she gets to take one more. Uh, does she want to get another senator so she can bang, get the senator bonus really, really quick? Or does she want to take this other purple so she can start working on getting the purple bonus as well? I think she will go for the purple. All right. Because, you know, getting that senator bonus is really not worth that much. It's only two points. All right, so now Jen, because she com has completed these two centers, has one additional worker and she's got one additional objective. And me, uh, my dagger was over there. And so with the jacks, uh, the cup gets reset. So this round, very, you know, no rare stuff came out. This is actually a pretty slow paced round. But anyway, it goes back in, we draw, we decry, cross swords again, come on! So common. Jen says, well, hey, I'm just gonna keep working over here. And I'm going to say, I have no cross swords. None of my centers need cross swords. I have, oh, this is painful. Let's see if we can get something a little bit more me friendly, shall we? Um, ah, a dagger, come on. I've already completed both of my dagger spaces. Oh, that's ridiculous. And Jen, meanwhile, she will benefit by starting to work on this green zone with the dagger. What's the next thing we pull? A chariot, okay. Surely that will be of some use to me. All right, that means I can start working on this guy. But now this means I'm starting to spread myself thin. I've only got seven guys. And so I've got four of them over here, and, and you know, two, four of them are spread out. I will have to finish this before I can start working on this. Meanwhile, Jen, with her chariot choice, just continues to scream along. And finally, what's another one we pull? A shield, another super common one. I guess Jen will go on ahead. This is her only shield space she can do. And me, I am really starting to get spread thin. Uh, so, but I've got two guys, so I, with my last two guys, I could finish either this guy or this guy, depending on if standards come up, which is rarer, or a catapult standard comes up. So either way, i got to get a standard. Come on, show me pink. Show me a pink standard. Cross swords, come on. This is ridiculous. Let's see. Now, Jen has no use for cross swords. I have no use for cross swords, so that was just a pass of a turn. And the jack. This is crazy. Okay, so with the Jack, Jen's gonna say, I declare this, even though they're fairly common, she's gonna be a catapult, so she can Ave Caesar. And I am, once again, <sighs> let's see, I could go for this guy, but then I have to get another standard to finish. I think I'm gonna go for this guy, which means in the next turn, all I gotta do is get a catapult, which is a medium rarity. And that was it. So Jen, once again, gets Ave Caesar, gets a third thing done, it's her first screen. Now this does no points for her, um, but it is her first green. Oh, whoops, I forgot to put cards out. So these are now the cards she can pick from. She can pick another green. So if she takes this between and gets it completed, she will be able to suck up that green completion card first. So she's going to take that one. Although the other one that came up is a senator who, if she completes this one, forces me to permanently lose two of my workers. So that could be very, very destructive, but it doesn't score many points, but, and it's also very tough to get. It has a lot, you know, a lot of variety. So that was the end of that. The jacks reset. And let's go ahead and just go a couple more rounds. A dagger, which again, nothing for me. And Jen says, ha ha, I got a dagger. And a, another chariot. Now I have no chariots, can't help me. Jen, well, she can start working on this, and now she's starting to spread herself out really, really thin based on the luck of the draw. We'll see what happens. Cross swords. Uh, Jen can start working on that. I have no use for cross swords. Come on, give me a catapult. This is just unfair. And the jack comes out. My goodness. Okay, well, finally, finally, 
I declare that. So I get an obvious user. Jen, she will choose to uh, see. So she wants to go, if the jack is powerful, she wants to go for a rare one. So I think she'll go for this one, which means she's starting to work on this guy, which has the attack power of stopping one of my objectives that's in progress. So that's what she chose. I declare Ave Caesar, hooray, finally. Although, it gives me no special power, but it gave me 13 points. And, um, but it's only two senators. I need three senators before I can score that bonus point. And now what am I gonna take? Do I want more senators or do I want this one little bit of land? I think I, because I've got that senator bonus, I'm just gonna keep on trying to get senators. And I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for the super attack one. Okay, and a new thing comes out. It's another senator, oh, which is another attack one, which causes, if you complete this one, it causes your opponents to ha lose one of their previously completed objectives. All right, go back in. Okay, what do we get? A standard, ah, the rare one. So Jen will, oh, and now she's got a tough choice. This one only needs one standard, and then she just needs a cross sword, she'll finish it, and she'll hit me hard. This one, yeah, she's, it's not that hard. She's gonna choose this one, yeah, which means she's kind of, but she's kind of wasted her time um, pursuing this, but she's still got one free guy, so hopefully she'll get this finished up pretty quick. And meanwhile, me, I got a standard, which means I'm almost done with Spartacus Locundus Ladunus, and now I'm really nervous because, well, let's just see what the next one is. Hopefully it's not a cross sword. Let it be a jack or the other standard, come on. God protect me. All right, it's a shield. Jen, her last free guy has no place, she has no shield she can place this on. And me, I guess I will, let's see, so I can start working on this senator who will give me bonus points, but I don't have to worry about him. I can get him much, much later, because uh, it's just, that's in game bonus card. So I'm gonna start working on this attacky guy to slow Jen down by making her lose two of her legionnaires. What do we get? Not cross swords pink. Catapult, all right. Jen, her last guy, I guess she'll go on ahead and put it on here. And so now she's kind of spread across both of these and she has no more guys to place. And me with a catapult, I will continue working on hiring this uh, Darth Sidious type looking guy. Let's see what we get. We get another chariot. And Jen now, she has a free chariot over here. She has nobody to put there, but if she wants to, she could pull somebody off of one of her existing cards and put it over here and start working on this, which is a much quicker, easier thing to get than either of these tough ones. Now she's not gonna pull off here because this is almost done, but this needs two standards. That's gonna be very, very tough to get. And she'll be able to get another shield later. So I think she's actually gonna move off of this shield and put it over here to hopefully get this thing done quicker. And meanwhile, me with the chariot, I'm getting ever so much closer to, I, you know, I'm on the cusp, I've got these two guys who are almost doable, but if a cross sword comes up, Jin will get to complete this, and I'll have to wipe something out. So please, don't let it be a cross sword. Don't let it be a cross sword. Oh my god, it's a jack. Which means it's, a, it's everything. Oh wow, okay, well this will be interesting. So, jack, which means everybody gets to do. And now we each choose what we're gonna be. Jen is definitely, even though it's the most common thing in the world, she is definitely gonna say that it's a cross sword. But she has to pull off somewhere else. She'll pull off this, let's see, catapult or chariot? Uh, catapults are a little bit rare, so she'll pull this chariot off. And so she says, Ave Caesar! She has conquered Macedonia. Meanwhile, with my last guy who's free, I will declare, hmm, I'm gonna declare that it was a standard, so I, I also say, Ave Caesar, hooray, okay. So this is a case where both of us have actually done Ave Caesar on the same turn. And the order that we resolve our objectives can make a big, big difference. Um, and what we do that is we look at the numbers. This guy is number 85, and the one Jen completed is number 75. So the lower number goes first, Jen gets to do her Ave Caesar first. She completes this, declares she has conquered Macedonia. She now has two of the three greens she needs to score these bonus points. And she says that I now have to clear all my workers off of one of my objectives. Now, this objective is safe. If, if you can clear Ave Seaver, it's safe. But that means all the work I put into this evil guy just gets wiped out and I've got to start over on him. But anyway, that was her special power. And now me, I get to do, do my Ave Caesar. This guy moves up. And I now have successfully gotten 
three Sanders. So I've just scored, no one can take this away from me, two bonus points for the end of the game. And, let's see, have I done anything else? Nope. Uh, yeah, neither, neither of us, have, you know, Jen hasn't gotten her two greens. We don't have one of the same kind. There's another thing we could be doing, and this is interesting. This might be worth thinking about. Jen was first. She was the first player to have gotten successfully four, what do you call them? D -t -t -t, objectives. There's these other bonuses up here that score you two, four, six, eight, or ten points. It's because Jen's just gotten four objectives, she could take this and permanently claim this for the rest of the game. That means she would guarantee herself six points, but if she waits, she could instead score this for five points or this one for six points. We're in a race to get to seven. The game ends when somebody has completed seven objectives. So I, Jen could take this sixer, but she's going to pass. She's going to hopefully get the, she wants to get the, she wants to get to six before I do. I also have the opportunity to do that. But I'm going to pass as well because we're both racing to get to the, the eight or six. But with more players, like a four or five player game, I guarantee you, somebody's going to say, you know what, I'm just going to bow out and grab this six while the getting is good because there's, a, you know, with, with a lot more players, if you get up this high, you definitely want to think about grabbing that. But anyway, oh, I totally forgot, by the way, quite a while ago, Jen did successfully get this wheat, which means she has actually scored this five point wheat bonus. Although this can be taken away. If I get wheat, I will take it away from her. The, you know, this wheat and this gold one can cross hands back and forth over the course of the game. Right. So Jen did hers. I did mine. I now have the special ability. Whenever I get a standard, I can turn it into a dagger, which will help me. And Jen, who went first, she gets to pull a new guy. And I think she will go on ahead and pull this purple. Will she? No. Yeah. Because now she's got three purples she's going for. Because remember, where you get all those purples. And then a new one comes out, and I was second, so what am I going to pull? I could pull this other evil senator. Or I could pull this one that gives me an extra worker, which would be nice too. And that one's, I'm going to go with this one. Even though I get the bonus for extra centers, this is going to be a really quick, easy one to get done, and I could use some more legionnaires. And then a new thing comes out, which is bonus points. However many orange cards you've completed by the end of the game gives you six bonus points. So if you get this, it really makes it worth your while to go for oranges. But so far, neither Jen nor I have gotten any oranges. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. That was a, oh gosh, I would say we're maybe about a third to halfway through a game of Augustus. This game plays very, very fast. It's over in under half an hour, even if you're playing with a full complement of six. Uh, if you'd like now, you can go ahead and push the button to see some extended play because I'll play through a few more rounds and you know, hopefully show uh, some more powers and whatnot and you know, maybe get some more cool bonuses. Or alternatively, you can push the other button and go straight to my final thoughts. I leave the choice in your capable hands. If I knew how to do a countdown in Latin, I would, but you'll have to suffice with English. Five, four, three, two, one. Thanks, everybody.